So picture this, you love a certain brand of coffee, so you visit their website and try to buy it, but a pop-up window opens, forcing you to manually sign up here and then verify your email ID. But we can reduce this friction significantly by adding social sign-up buttons here, so people can click it, select their account and log in. And you also know that this is an active email ID that they use regularly, so your marketing emails also go to the right place and get opened more. Now it's really easy to add social plugins and we'll use this free plugin called NextSend for it. But before that, you should know that adding more plugins and more features slows down your site over time. Then your visitors will start getting stuck at loading screens like this, which will lose you a lot of traffic and money. So first, let's just take a minute, add your website URL to Google PageSpeed. And if you get a score less than 90 like this, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now there's many speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or they have hundreds of settings. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. You can just add your site to it like this. And then with one click, it makes your site three times faster and you get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here. It's free and you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. So on our WordPress dashboard, Come to plugins, then add new, and search for next end. Here it is. And you can see it's quite popular as well. So click install and then activate. Now, once that's done, we can see the plugin if we hover over the settings. So let's click it. It opens the plugin dashboard like this. And we can see all the different social media apps in the boxes. So let's start with Google. Click on the getting started button. It's gonna open this page that lists all the steps you need to do. Click the link in step one. And now we need to create the Google app. Trust me, it's a lot simpler than it sounds. It's actually quite easy. So the first step is to sign into your Google account. And once you're signed in, it takes you to this page and you'll see a button to create project. So let's click it. And now once the page loads, you can enter your project name. So I'm gonna call mine VIP pass. Now let's create it and the project is created. And you'll see its name on top next to Google Cloud. On your left sidebar, right below the credentials, click this consent screen. It will ask if this is internal or external. Since mine is for customers, I'm gonna select external. All right, we're halfway done with this now. On this page, enter your application name in this box here. Mine is going to be VIP pass. Now scroll down to the section called authorized domains. Click add domain and put in your website address here like this. And then click save. Now from your left sidebar, click credentials and you'll see the option to create credentials on the top. Click it. It's gonna show you these three options. So click the second one here. That's what we need. Now it's gonna ask you what type of application this is. So in our case, it's a web application. So let's go to the drop down menu and select that. Then I'm gonna enter my site name and a few more options are gonna appear after that. So scroll down to authorize redirect URLs and click add URL. Now we need to add a URL here, which you're gonna find in the back of our dashboard. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And here we can see the URL. So go ahead and copy it. Now go back to our credential setup, paste it in the box and just click create. And that's it. You now have a client ID and key, which you're gonna add in our WordPress dashboard. So let's go back and scroll down and click the blue button. Now it's gonna take us here where we need to add the two details that we had just created. So let's go back, copy them one by one and paste it here. Then click save changes and a box appears on top that says a configuration needs to be verified. So let's click on the blue button, verify settings. Now it's gonna ask you to sign in once more. So go ahead, then it'll reload and it looks like the test was successful. Now all that's left is to enable this. So let's click enable here and your Google login has been enabled on your website. So let us just test this by going to the website once. Uh, I'm gonna go back and there you can see the option to sign up with Google. All right, now let's add a Facebook login as well. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard to the social plugin. Now we see our social media options here and we can see Google is enabled. So let's click on getting started in the Facebook box. Now similar page to the one we saw last time will open here. And just like last time we have to create an app. So let's scroll down to create Facebook app and click the link in step one. This takes us to the Facebook developer page in a new tab. Of course, you'll have to sign in here. So let's just do that. And then it shows our apps. 
Now my page is blank, but we're going to create one right now. So let me click this big green button that says create app and it gives me three options. So I'm going to select this one and then click next. It now asks me what type of app this is and gives me a list of options. So since my website is a store, I'm going to pick consumer. Next, it asks me to add an app name, which I'll again call VIP pass. All right, that's good. Now it takes me to this page where I can add products to my app. Now the third one is Facebook login. So let me click this little box that says setup. It then wants me to choose what platform it's for. So I'll choose web. So in the first box, I'll add my website URL and then click save. All right, now you can click continue and ignore the rest. Now before we get that ID and key, there's one more little thing to do. On your left sidebar, under Facebook login, click settings. Once it's open, you want to make sure that the first option, this one, is active. Then below the toggle switches, you'll see this option and a box below it. This URL was given to us when we started. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. And on our getting started page, the 10th step is what we need. Copy the URL from here, then go back to Facebook and paste it. Then click save changes on the bottom right. All right, now it's time to get the ID and key. So look at the sidebar on the left and click app settings. A drop down opens up, click basic settings. Now that it's open, we can see our app ID and key right here. So then let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to the getting started page, scroll all the way to the bottom, click this blue button. Now we have to copy and paste the ID and secret key here. So let's go back and copy it, paste it, then go back, copy it again, paste it here, and then save changes. Now, before we can make our app live, we do need to give Facebook a privacy policy. So let's head back to the basic settings on our Facebook tab. You will see a box to paste a privacy policy URL. So go ahead and paste that here like this. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can just create one from your WordPress dashboard. Just go to settings and privacy. Okay, now once you've pasted the privacy policy in, you will need to add the URL to data deletion instructions for your website so that your customers can use it. So I'm putting in the privacy policy for now, but you can add your specific instructions for your website. All right, next select your category from the last box. I'll take shopping, now click save changes, and you're done. All that's left is to enable the Facebook login. So right at the top in the center is a toggle switch that says app mode, development or life. Let's toggle it to life. It's gonna reload and done, it's not life. Now we have to enable it in our WordPress dashboard as well. So let's head back to the tab. We can see our ID and key and a box on top saying it needs to be verified. So go ahead and click verify settings. Now pop-up might open where you'll need to sign in once more to verify yourself. So let's do that. Now let's click enable in the little box beneath that. Now let's go back to our website, click checkout. And then here's the sign up pop-up and we can see that the Facebook and Google buttons are active here. Also, don't miss this video where I used a free speed plugin that can triple any site speed. So click here and I'll see you there.